What an embarrassing moment for Blue Origin. You know that feeling when everyone is excited about a groundbreaking product only for it to fall short of expectations upon arrival? That's exactly what happened with Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket. From the outset, Blue Origin and SpaceX seemed like the ultimate rivals. Both companies were founded by ambitious billionaires around the same time, Jeff Bezos for Blue Origin and Elon Musk for SpaceX. This parallel in their origins set the stage for what many perceived to be a fair and balanced competition. Yet, while SpaceX rapidly launched hundreds of rockets and successfully developed a range of spacecraft, Blue Origin often found itself in the spotlight for failed tests and legal disputes. One of SpaceX's rockets that truly left Blue Origin in the dust was the Starship. This innovative behemoth changed the game, placing immense pressure on Blue Origin to prove its worth by creating something just as powerful and ambitious. In response, Blue Origin announced the new Glenn rocket, a massive, reusable rocket designed to rival SpaceX's heavy lift vehicles. But for more than a decade, New Glenn remained mostly an idea on paper, with very little in the way of public tests or visible progress. The mounting criticism directed at Jeff Bezos only intensified as the years dragged on with little to show. It became increasingly evident that Blue Origin needed to take a bold step forward to regain its credibility. Recently, Blue Origin decided to do just that by conducting a test. Hopes were high, and the aerospace community was buzzing with anticipation. Finally, the world would get to see New Glenn in action. But then, disaster struck. Nothing short of a disaster. During the transportation of New Glenn's upper stage, the structure crumpled, an incident likely triggered by improper handling during extreme temperature changes. This wasn't just a minor setback. It was a catastrophic failure that raised serious doubts about Blue Origin's ability to deliver on its promises. But the problems didn't stop there. Shortly after the transportation debacle, yet another upper stage of the new Glenn rocket exploded during a stress test. The cause? Excessive pressure, a fundamental issue that any serious aerospace project should have carefully mitigated. Though these incidents didn't involve the hardware slated for the rocket's upcoming debut mission, they certainly cast a shadow over new Glenn's overall reliability. Questions began swirling about Blue Origin's readiness to compete in the fiercely competitive space launch market. To make matters worse, these failures starkly contrasted with the relentless success of Blue Origin's chief rival, SpaceX. While Blue Origin struggled to find its footing, SpaceX was making history, launching rockets at a record pace and mastering the art of landing boosters for reuse. Their lineup of achievements includes the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and now, the groundbreaking Starship, all of which have seen numerous successful flights. However, even with all of their triumphs, there is one mission that continues to challenge SpaceX, the development of the Starship itself. The concept behind Starship is both monumental and complex. When Musk first introduced it, many people scoffed at the idea. The notion of building a rocket that large seemed outlandish to critics, who were quick to dismiss it as impossible. They mocked the idea, claiming that a rocket of that magnitude would never get off the ground. Yet, even after SpaceX constructed the massive vehicle, even after SpaceX unveiled the first prototypes of Starship, skepticism lingered. Critics insisted that a rocket of such immense size would never achieve a successful launch. But SpaceX didn't let the naysayers slow them down. Instead, they remained focused on refining and improving Starship with every launch. The first integrated flight test was designed to gather foundational data and test the vehicle's capabilities, but it encountered several significant challenges, including a loss of control during ascent. Undeterred, SpaceX went back to the drawing board, improving the flight software and control systems for the second flight. This resulted in a more stable launch, though the mission still ended in an early termination. The third flight marked a pivotal step forward. The booster reached higher altitudes and successfully executed separation, although the landing was not yet perfect. This test provided crucial data that allowed SpaceX to further enhance the landing systems. Most recently, the fourth flight demonstrated the most progress to date. The booster achieved a near-perfect splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, showcasing advancements in the Raptor engines, thermal protection, and control systems. 
This milestone proved that SpaceX's relentless focus on continuous improvement was paying off. Each test brought them closer to achieving the dream of a fully reusable spacecraft capable of revolutionizing space travel. In contrast, Blue Origin's new Glenn project still struggles to get off the ground, both literally and figuratively. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, Blue Origin faces increasing pressure to deliver on its promises. The question remains, can Blue Origin catch up, or will it remain in SpaceX's shadow? Bringing SpaceX closer to achieving their goal of a fully reusable Starship. Now as they gear up for Flight 5, SpaceX has incorporated the valuable lessons learned from their previous flights, refining the vehicle even further to address any remaining issues. The team has completed all the necessary preparations, and the excitement is palpable as they have officially announced the launch date for this critical mission. As the launch date for SpaceX's fifth Starship test flight draws near, anticipation continues to build. This test is scheduled between late August and early September 2024, pending final approval from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. While SpaceX has already secured the green light from the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, the FAA's approval is the last piece of the puzzle before the launch can move forward. This upcoming flight is particularly significant for SpaceX, as it involves an ambitious and groundbreaking maneuver catching the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla Tower Arms at the Starbase facility in Texas. This innovative technique could drastically reduce the turnaround time needed to recover and prepare the rocket for its next mission, thereby making space travel more efficient and sustainable. If successful, the booster will be gently caught by these enormous tower arms and lowered back onto the launch pad, a process that could revolutionize rocket recovery. However, should any complications arise, SpaceX has a backup plan. The booster will perform a controlled water landing, similar to previous tests. Many in the aerospace community were surprised to see SpaceX planning to utilize the Mechazilla system so early in their testing phase, especially given its complexity and untested nature. The Mechazilla system represents a bold leap in rocket recovery technology, being the first of its kind to attempt such a feat. With every detail of this test meticulously planned, SpaceX is once again poised to push the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration. Will they succeed in perfecting their recovery technique and bring us one step closer to a fully reusable spacecraft? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the world will be watching closely as SpaceX continues to redefine the future of space travel.